Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Game Performance Review Time, Grand Theft Auto V. We're playing Grand Theft Auto V today on this HP Notebook 15.6 inch Full HD 1080p laptop. I've previously reviewed this computer, link in the description below, but in short, for less than $500, this is one of the best laptop computers you can buy. Intel i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, solid state boot drive, very fast performance, Intel's HD 520 integrated graphics. How well does a $450 laptop play Grand Theft Auto V? Honestly, not very well. If you want to play games like this, you really need more computer than this. Why? What's missing is a dedicated graphics chip. I've previously reviewed other laptop computers that have an NVIDIA GeForce 940MX or 960M graphics card in them. This doesn't have one. This uses the built-in graphics on the Intel chip, which are fine. League of Legends, Minecraft, Rocket League play wonderfully on this laptop. Grand Theft Auto V, let me show you where we're at settings-wise. Now, why am I testing this if I don't think it plays well? Because people ask, and I want to show the limitations. So if you want to play League of Legends and Rocket League and Minecraft, yes, this is fine. If you want to play Grand Theft Auto V, you need more. Graphics. We are at full screen at 720p resolution. I'm not even going to bother with 1080p. We're at 720p resolution and, excuse me, graphics. Every detail is turned down. Anti-aliasing is turned off, V-Sync is turned off, population density, they're all set to the minimum. Everything is set to normal. I can't turn these details down any further. So we're at minimum detail as far as Grand Theft Auto V goes, and we're running at half HD. So this is a 1080p screen, but we're only running at half of its resolution because it doesn't have the performance. In the corner up here, we have our fraps counter, our frame rate counter. I'm going to press F11. Why? To start a record run. I'll show you at the end of this what the minimum, the maximum, and the average frame rates are. Now, I know what some people are going to say. Wait a minute, you say. You're playing on multiple monitors. That's why it doesn't play well. No, it doesn't make any difference. Yes, I've tested it. Yes, I have run games on this laptop without monitors attached. It doesn't change the output. And the reason being is, is because... Oh, wow, that is really laggy. And the reason is, is because it is displaying the same image on all the monitors. It is cloning them so the copy of the image occurs after the graphics chip renders it. So it doesn't really put any additional strain. It takes maybe 1% performance off. It isn't going to change the outcome by enough. Yeah, this is unplayable. I mean, it's, you press buttons and, and there's a delay between when you press buttons and things happen. When you go on the missions and the cinematics and you're chasing the boat and you're doing other stuff, this would be utterly, completely, totally unplayable. Fun, unplayable. And I'm not even doing anything. I'm just driving around being crazy. When you get into the, some, some of the cinematic events, this would be totally unplayable. And I don't even have the cops chasing me. Oh, man. That's... Ouch. What happens when the cops chase us? Let's get the cops to chase us, shall we? And the cops are finally chasing us. Let's make that performance go right into the tank, shall we? One star? That's all we've got? Come on, we can do better than that. Let's get two stars. There we go, there's two stars. And the cops are coming finally. When I press buttons, the delay, oh, yeah, it's, it's completely uncontrollable. When I press buttons, the delay between when things happen and when I see them, yeah, I'm, there's almost a full half second delay between pressing the buttons and the, and the, and the car moving on the screen. I'll bet you, we'll take a look at the performance at the end of this. I want to put it on record so you can see what it is. Sorry, lady. Oh, sorry, another lady. Ouch. Let's do something cool. Epi oh, that was weak sauce. 
Um, <laughs> that was kind of cool. <laughs> Look at my issue. Oh, oh, Lord, that's... <laughs> oh. Oh, that cracks me up. It shouldn't, but it does. That is funny. Um, this SUV is not, oh, my front tire is not pop. My suspension's broken though. What do you guys think I can do? Should I go down here and go this way? Boom! Ouch. Can I drive over this? Yes. Uh-oh. Wait, maybe that's not a good idea. Oh, great. Now I'm on the grass. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. The cops lost me. Okay, they suck. And they don't know I'm in this car. They'll figure it out pretty fast, though. Oh, that's lame. Oh, so I escape when I'm not even trying. Ugh. When I try to escape, I don't. And when I don't try to escape, I do. Bet you if I run these people over, it'll get the cops' attention. Well, it should. Running people over is not nice. I'm sorry. I'm actually getting used to the lag. That's what's weird. This was really bad when I first started because I'm used to playing on high-performance machines. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I have a fairly decent computer at home that I play on. I'm used to instant. I'm getting used to the terrible performance. That kind of surprises me. And the cops gave up. Okay, this is just... All right, that's just not acceptable. All right, let's try that. Come on, cops. Boom! That was terrible. The lag from the explosions was terrible. Oh, that was pretty cool. Come on, cops, where are you? We need to get into a decent shootout here. Oh, is that a red comet? Nice. I like the red ones. They're rare. Come on, cops. Think they can kill me? I don't have painkiller on, so I'm not cheating that wise. Oh, <laughs> they hit the tire already. That's hilarious. Oh, excuse me, people. Coming through. Let's see if I can do something awesome. How fast do you think I can go on the freeway with no tire? Into oncoming traffic. How about I just shoot at everybody who comes by? Don't try this at home. This is dangerous. I'm actually... Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Would you explain to me how I magically roll my car over and I survive that impact without dying? <laughs> Did you see the, the truck hit him? That was awesome. Uh-oh, I broke my car. You know, I suspect the cops won't take kindly to shooting at them with an automatic weapon. Uh, go away. <laughs> he went flying out of the car. That was hilarious. What happens if I shoot at the helicopter with that? Well, I know what happens, but it's a... Boy, they just ram into you. I guess if you actually shot this many of them, they would do that maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there! I'm like I'm. I don't even have invincibility turned on. I'm not even looking where I'm going. That was funny. I'm a bad. Dr what the heck? Oh, this thing. And they still haven't killed me. 
Look at my car, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, the performance of this is terrible. But it's shockingly, I'm getting used to it. Do I recommend this? No, not really. But I'm getting over the terrible performance and I'm starting to, I'm enjoying it. So, you know, this is why I do these tests. I knew this was going to be terrible when I started. That's not really a secret. But the question is, wow, that's, this is, you know, it's, the performance is terrible, but it is tremendously fun. If you have to have a laptop computer, okay, those were kind of pro skills. If you have to have a laptop computer, come on, uh-oh, F11, let's stop the fraps run. <laughs> that was epic. I love it. Let's go take a look at those results, shall we? And here we are at the results, an average of 23 frames per second with a minimum of eight and a max of 33. That's terrible. Let's take a look at the performance over time. The very top line on the screen is 35 frames per second. Then it goes down by five, 30, 25, 20. The majority of that performance was between 20 and 25 frames per second. In fact, that Minimum of eight actually only occurred once right here at the end. Otherwise, it was pretty steady between 20 and 25 frames per second. Was Grand Theft Auto V playable at 720p at minimum detail on this HP 15 laptop computer? Yes, because I'm just driving around and I don't care about the results. Do I recommend it? No. Would you be able to do the, the story, the cinematic mode where you do the interactions and chasing the boat and do the other stuff? Not really. It, it would be bad performance in the wrong places for doing the story mode. For driving around and crashing stuff, yeah, it works. I got into it. I was having fun. If you actually watch the whole thing rather than fast forward, I forgot about the terrible performance about halfway through that, and I was just having entirely too much fun. <sighs> Spend another 100 or $200 and get a laptop with an integrated graphics chip. Either a GTX 950 or 960 would be perfect. The integrated graphics on Grand Theft Auto V, this shows the limitation of the laptop. It'll do it. The integrated graphics in this laptop are designed for League of Legends, Minecraft, Rocket League, World of Tanks, that sort of thing. And I've tested some of those games, links in the description below, and they play wonderfully on this laptop. So asking this laptop to play Grand Theft Auto V is frankly asking it to do something it wasn't meant to do. It'll do it, but not really. So like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel, the big huge red button right down there. Comments and questions in the comment section and check out the video description. Links to my other reviews on this laptop and to Amazon.com where I bought it. And if you want this laptop, you should too, are all in the video description below. Please go check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.